Okay, good afternoon everyone. Um, as I said in my previous video, um, I wasn't too happy about the uh, the uh, clutch lever and brake lever being completely different. Um, and I did mention that I was going to get an ASV uh, brake lever. However, on reflection, I decided not to bother because they're quite pricey. And for this bike, I don't think it I can really justify that kind of cost. So what I've done is I picked up some um, OE style originals. Here they are. Um, not particularly expensive. Um, they should do the job. Uh, happy days. Okay. So, whilst this isn't a um, particularly taxing job, um, I'm sure there are people out there that have um, not tackled this before and perhaps thought um, that this was beyond their ability and you know maybe had a low speed spill or dropped it off a side stand or whatever and broken a lever and then thought that they had to take it to a dealer in order to get it repaired and I'm sure there are people out there that have done that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how simple it is to uh, to change a set of levers um, so okay for this task all you simply need 10 mil spanner flat bladed screwdriver simple removal flat blade screwdriver there and a spanner on the nut on the back there's the nut and there's the pivot pin and that's the clutch lever out simple as that We'll do put the nut back on the pin so that it doesn't get lost keep that together same on the other side crack the nut oh, I'm blank. and there's the nut There's the pivot pin, there's the lever. And again, put the nut back on so it doesn't get lost. Okay. So let's take them out of the packaging. Okay, so that one's clutch. As you can see, the linkages are very similar. This little pivot pin here, pin here meets up with meets up with this here. There's a small hole inside, like that, which keeps it. As you can see, as as the levers um, moved around its pivot, that pin will remain engaged with this. This, um, so we'll, we'll have to swap that over to the new one. And that one's the brake lever. So we'll put that over the other side. Okay, so as I said, all we've got to do is swap this over to here. I'm going to get a pair of snips and just uh, snip the tie wrap. Tie wrap, just keeping it all together in transit. As you can see, it will want to come apart just just there in transit if, if it wasn't um, tie wrapped together. So, to install, all we need to do is pop the pin. Got the pin in my hand. We need to make sure that that is engaged with the hole in here, like so. Come on. In you go. There we are. Just like that. And then pop the pin in place 
like that. A couple of turns and it'll engage in the housing on the other side using the screwdriver, which I left over here. Bring this pin all the way to home. And then secure with the nut on the other side. Screw up to touch. Hold the pin in position and simply tighten the nut. And there is the lever engaged, uh, installed, sorry. Just as it should be. Right. Now, the front brake. Much the same kind of deal. Again, this time, there is no, uh, there is nothing that you need to transfer over from the old lever to this one. Just gonna take the uh, tie wrap off. Fit it into the housing, like so. Fit the pin. into the housing, up to touch. Then add the nut. Then once that's done, get your manual out, double check the torque figures, make sure that they're um, um, tightened to the correct torque specification. Then it's simply a case of testing, making sure that when you pull the front brake, the brakes operate as they should, and not to, uh, not to forget, obviously, the, the, um, the brake light activates as it should. Um, again, with the clutch, just make sure that you can engage gears and that um, the clutch disengages when you when you're pulling the lever and it's simple as that okay um again as i said before a really really simple video um a really really simple job um but one that i've no doubt there are people out there would be mindful of especially when it comes to things like brakes because people do have a um a, uh, what's the word i'm looking for a a, a fear of working on anything to do with brakes so it's just to show how simple it really is um um, and hopefully you, you, there's something that you can achieve at home. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.